Okay, for this project, I went ahead and used, I used a Lion Brand homespun yarn, and I had one skein, so one skein will be enough because I have this left. And I used a six and a half millimeter crochet hook, if you can see that. And then I am going to need some beads if you want to put beads on. They're six millimeter beads. And then a belt. It doesn't have to be a belt like this. It can be a leather belt or even if you don't want a belt. I mean, you can make your own handle. It's really whatever you want. And I just put some little necklaces on for decoration. And also, if you decide to use the belt, you're going to need these little um, magnetic buttons. You can buy them at Walmart. That's how you can attach a belt. This is what they are. Magnetic snaps. If you want to use a belt, you definitely don't have to. You can use, you can make a different handle. It's really up to you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, you want to start off with a chain of 56. So I'm going to be working the crocodile stitch, and it's done in multiples of seven. So once you get your 56, you want to, we're going to slip stitch all the way over here into the very first chain. But you want to make sure you don't twist your chain. And I'm going to tell you right now that this yarn isn't the easiest to work with. But it sure is pretty. So just do your best to not twist your chain. Slip stitch into the first. To form a ring. Like that. And then you want to chain three. One, two, three. And that counts as a double crochet. Now we're going to work all the way around our ring, putting one double crochet in each stitch. And the stitches are kind of hard to see, but you just kind of look for them. And just consistently go into the front of your chain. Don't let your chain twist. And then to the next. Like that. And then the next. And you just keep going around. Putting one double in each stitch. And when you get back around, counting this chain three. You should have 56 stitches, 56 double crochets. Man, this stuff is, I'll probably be saying this the whole time, griping about it, how it's hard it is to work with, but this is so pretty and it's so soft. So I'm just going to continue going around without twisting my chain, putting one double crochet in each stitch. Sometimes you got to look for the stitches, those are not the easiest to see, but. So I'll meet you, I'm going to go around, I'll meet you right back up here at the beginning. Okay, I made it all the way around and I did one double crochet, oh sorry about that in each stitch and I counted my double crochets counting that chain three and I have 56 I can't believe it because I couldn't really see the stitches but I thought for sure I was going to have to redo it a couple times but I did it so now I'm going to slip stitch it to the top of the beginning chain three like that now these are going to be the posts that we work our crocodile stitches on so now I'm going to chain one. And that chain one, when we go all the way around with our crocodile stitches, that's where we're going to slip stitch into at the end. The last crocodile stitch is going to be slipped in, slip stitched in to that chain one. So that's why we put that there. So now what we want to do is just 
go straight down to this first double crochet and I always split it uh, fold my fold this up in half and pull this up because we're going to be working down that post we want to do five double crochets down this post through it so you're going to yarn over and then just go I apologize that this yarn is dark directly through the post see how I went through it to the other side then I grab my yarn and then I do my double crochet so that's one do it again and that's going to be two again grab it, pull it up, and then you do your double crochet three go through the post back up that's four and we want to do it one more time yarn over, go under the post, to grab your yarn, pull it up and go ahead and finish out your double crochet and that's five double crochets now you want to chain one and turn and now we're going to be working on this next post right here so kind of pull it up fold this all in half except for that one post now we're going to do five double crochets up this post so going to yarn over and just go through that post just like before grab your yarn and then do your double so that's one and you want to do that five times two three again four and then one more we'll finish off this one crocodile stitch and that's five so when you open it up and look at it there's your first crocodile stitch I like it this yarn makes it a big fat crocodile stitch I like that that looks cool okay once you get done with that crocodile stitch you want to you want to chain one we're going to chain one in between every crocodile stitch so now what we're going to do is skip five of these double crochet posts so one two three four and five and we're going to be doing a crocodile stitch in the sixth one and the seventh one so skip two three four and five and here's the sixth one so I'm gonna pull it up and I fold my work in half stretch it up there a little bit so you can see it and that's where we're gonna start working our next crocodile stitch so we want to yarn over and go through the post grab the yarn and draw it through and we want to do five double crochets down this side of the post so that's one two three four five and then you chain one and then you flip it over and you go to the next double crochet that's right next to it this one pull it up so you can see it really good fold your work in half and now we're going to do five more double crochets up this post so yarn over and go straight through it draw a loop and there's one double that's two three four 
four and five and then you want to do a chain one because you're chaining one and going over getting ready to do the next one so now you got two big fat crocodile stitches I really like them with this yarn I think they look cool now what we want to do again is skip the next five double crochets one two three four five and we'll be working in the sixth one and the seventh one so we'll start with the sixth one fold your work in half and pull it up so you can work through it and we'll start off by doing yarning over and doing five double crochets down this post there's one two three four and five and then we chain one turn it over and now we're going to go into this next double crochet that's right next to it so go ahead and fold your work in half and pull this up so you can see it really good and then we'll do our five double crochets up this side of the post so yarn over go right through the post and double crochet five times so there's one two three four and five and after you finish this we're going to chain one and go to the next so now we're going to skip five double crochets one two three four five and we will be working in the sixth and the seventh so we'll go ahead and pull up the sixth one fold your work in half pull it up pretty far so you can work through it and you want to do your yarn over and do your five double crochets one two three four five chain one flip it over and we're going to be working in this next double crochet right here right next to it so pull it up fold up your work in half pull it up pretty far so you can see it and yarn over and do your five double crochets up this side so there's one two three four and five and then you chain one and then we'll go work our next one so this is a repeat now we're just going to skip what well, we're just going to repeat what we've been doing skip five one two three four five and then we'll do our crocodile stitch and down this one and up this one and then skip five again and it's repeated all the way back to the beginning okay I made it back all the way around with my first row of the crocodile stitches so now we're going to slip stitch to join here's my last one and I chained one we want to slip stitch into that very first chain one that we did in the beginning remember that one slip stitch into that like that and now that's our first row now we're gonna need to do another row of posts so these crocodile stitches every time we have these stitches crocodile stitches we have to have a row of posts too but we want our stitches to be staggered 
So we're going to slip stitch over here in between these two so the next one will start right here. So just go ahead and slip stitch right on over there. And if you flip it over and you see you have five double crochet or yeah five double crochets the five that we that we skipped before one two three four and there's five I guess that yarn I should have used a different yarn but you want to be in the slip so you want to have slip stitched into the third one of them and when you're in that third one then you know that you're in the right one so I'm I slip stitched into that one I think yep so I'm okay so I want to do a chain three and that counts as a double crochet and I'm gonna go back into the same exact stitch that I just slip stitched into and do another that way we have two double crochets in that stitch and from now on that's where our next, that's where our uh, shell stitches, or our, our scale stitches are going to go, where there's two double crochets in the same stitch. We'll do the five double crochet down and the five double crochet up. So now we want to double crochet again, five stitches, five double crochets. So there's one. And two, and then the third one is always right here in between the scale. So I just go, there's my bunny Greg jumping up here. You probably saw him in my videos before. I'm sorry. Get out of here, Greg. The third one is always in the middle of the scale. You just go right through it. So that's three, and then you go. four and then five and then the next one should be the third stitch of the five double crochet that are back here should be the third of the five one two three four five and it is going to be the third one and you want to put two double crochet in that one and that's where our scale will go so two in this one. And again, I'm going to apologize for the dark yarn. I should have used a different color. I really like this yarn though. Now we're going to do five double crochets. There's one. And two. And then the third one always goes in the middle of this um, scale stitch so just go all the way through it it's three and then four and five and now the next one will be the third stitch or the middle stitch of the five that five double crochets in the back and you want to put two in that stitch two double crochet one you. Okay, now we're going to work again putting five double crochets. One, two, the third one is always going to be right in the middle of this. Three, then four. Five, and then you should be in the middle stitch of the five the five on the back when you flip it over there'll be the five double crochets you should be in the middle one and that's the one that you want to put 
two double crochets in. So this is how every row of posts is going to go from now on. So I'm just going to finish this out until I get back to where I started. I made it back around after that row of posts and I should end up at, here's my uh, chain three and I went ahead and remember we put two, count that chain three, put another one. So just slip stitch into the top of that chain three, like that. And then chain one. And that's where we'll hook our uh, scale stitch on when we go back around again. So now we're going to start our scale stitches. It's going to start with our chain three. We're going to yarn over and we're going to do five double crochets through the post. Two, three, four, five, and then we chain one and we turn it and then the same stitch, the same um, double crochet that's in the same stitch is, we're gonna, is the other one that we're going to use because remember we put two in the same stitch. So we want to yarn over and put five double crochets in that post. One, two, three, four, five, chain one in between, and then we're going to skip five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then you'll be at the spot where there is two double crochets in the same stitch. You want to pull up the first one, and five double crochets around the post, one, two, three, four, five, chain one, and flip it over, and the same double crochet that's in that same stitch is where we'll do yarn over and do five double crochets up this post. So there's one, two, three, four, five, chain one, skip five double crochets, skip five, and you'll be at the spot where you put two double crochets in one stitch, and go ahead in the first one, we'll start making our, our scale by putting five double crochets around the post, one, two, three, four, five, chain one, and then this other stitch that's in that same spot, the other double crochet that's in the same spot, we do five double crochets up that post. One, two, three, four, five, chain one, and then we just repeat that process until we get back to the beginning. Made it back around after that row of the crocodile stitches or the scale stitches, whatever you want to call them, and now we just want to slip stitch into that chain one we made in the very beginning. And that will close that round out. And then we can make another row of posts. And to make another row of posts, remember we have to slip stitch over to here. Each time we make a row of posts, we have to slip stitch over there. And 
and it's going to be the middle stitch of the five double crochet on the back every time. And when you get into that stitch, chain three. And then go back go and do a double crochet again in that same stitch. So you got two double crochet in that same stitch. And that's where the first scale stitch will go on the next round. Now you just double crochet five stitches. One. Two. And the third one always goes in the center of the scale. Three. I know it kind of looks like you missed a stitch here, but you don't really. You got to go in the middle there for the third one. And then four, five, and then the next stitch you'll put two double crochet in. And it should be the center stitch of the five on the bottom. We can put two in that one, then we do it again. Five double crochet. One, two, third one is always the center. Three, four, five, and then two double crochet in the next. So this is how it's going to go from now on. You just repeat this row and finish it. And then you start another row of the scale stitches of these. And then you do another row of the post and then another row of the scales. Throw the bottom up at the end. And I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do. So I'm just going to keep going until I get my however many rows of scale stitches that I want done and then I'll let you know how many I do total okay I did um four rows of the crocodile stitches and you can do more if you want but I'm actually going to do some rows of double crochet now so I just slip stitched into my last row and I'm not going to slip stitch over I'm just going to chain three and I'm just going to double crochet in every stitch across. Just like this. And I'm going to do this all the way around. Just one double crochet in every stitch. You could keep going with rows of crocodile stitch if you want. I didn't want to do something different, so I'm going to cut away from them for a little bit and just do a few rows of straight one double crochet in each stitch. So it's like you're doing the post row, but you're just not going to put no crocodile, no crocodile stitches on it. So just go ahead and continue this around until you get to the other side, or until we get to the beginning here. Okay, I made it back around after that row of double crochet, and I want to slip stitch into the first chain three, the top of it. And now I'm going to do a row of decrease double crochets. So I want to chain three. Like that. And then I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is uh, four double crochets in a row. And then I'm going to do a double crochet decrease. So this counts as my first one. So I'm going to go and do another one. That's two. Three. And four. And now I'm going to do a double crochet decrease. And then it'll take, over the, take these two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch. Drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. And then I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. And then you yarn over and go through all three. 
and that is a double crochet decrease and now I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next four stitches so one two three four and then we will double crochet decrease over these two stitches yarn over go into the next stitch draw up a loop you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over and go through the first two yarn over and then we go into the next stitch draw up a loop you'll have four loops on your hook you yarn over and go through the first two and then you yarn over and go through all three and that's a double crochet de double crochet decrease. Now again, I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. There's one, two, three, four, and then it's a double crochet decrease over the next two stitches so yarn over go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops yarn over again go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two and then you yarn over and go through all three just like that one double crochet in each of the next four stitches and then another double crochet decrease. So just repeat that pattern back around. I made it back around again after that row of decreases and I want to slip stitch into my beginning chain three to close that round off like that. And this yarn. <laughs> now you chain three again, two, three, now I'm just going to go around and I'm going to put one double crochet in each stitch all the way around this time. No decrease. Just one double crochet in every stitch. And so you get back around to the beginning. And then we'll see what it looks like from there. Okay, I made it back around after that row of one double crochet in each stitch. I slip stitched into the top of my chain three. Now I'm going to chain three again. I'm going to go around it again one more time with one double crochet in each stitch. Just like this. So I'm just repeating the last row. One double in each stitch until you get back to the beginning. I actually did another row of double crochet. I lied to you. So I did a total of one, two, three, four, five rows of double crochet all together. And now I'm going to slip stitch into my first or my beginning chain three. Just like so. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go and I'm going to put one single crochet now in every stitch all the way around. And that will be it for this part of the bag. Just one single crochet in every stitch all along the top here. And when you get around just slip stitch into that uh, chain one that we just did and then you can tie off. But by all means you could do as many rows of double crochets as you as you want as many or as less however big you want your bag so I mean you don't have to follow me exactly but so I'm gonna finish up this row of single crochet and then I'm gonna tie off and hide some tails and I'll meet back up with ya okay now what I'm gonna do is slip stitch the bottom shut so you just get it how you want it straighten it out Start with the slip knot on your hook. I'm stitching it right side out. So get it how you want it. 
and then you just take it's probably hard to see but you just take the ends and you slip slip stitch the bottom shut it's real easy just go through that slip knot on your hook and just take a stitch from one each side and slip stitch and the next stitch from each side slip stitch just like that but just slip stitch all the way down if you're more comfortable single crocheting it together you could do that too so just whatever gets it sewed up you can even use your darning needle if you wanted to so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up now the bag shut and it can hold things so for the handle you can do any kind of handle you want I'm actually gonna make use a belt handle and I'll show you how you can make a handle out of a belt real quick it's really easy um, I just snipped it in half where I wanted it to and then I got these um, they're magnetic snap buttons and I put one on each each one you just uh, stick them you cut your belt if you want to use a leather belt or whatever you cut it and then you'll have to uh, push these through you might have to cut the holes for the leather first and snap these down and then what you want to do is they have the other side too this is what they snap to so like that and this is the part that you want to put on your bag so once you figure out where you want your handles Put, I'm going to put it on the inside so you just you just stick it in here and then you put this back on it and then you probably have these pliers but squeeze it out flat I'll probably have to get some pliers but but anyways that's how you can add a belt to your bag now or a belt handle now they'll snap together like that and you can do that to the other side once you get both of them clips on you'll have these on the outside and then you can hook your um, belt up with the magnet to this magnet button like that now I don't care that these are out on the outside because I'm going to cover mine with some jewelry but if you didn't like them on the outside you could have always did it the other way where the belt buckled on the outside so I mean it's either way it's fine so now got that on there now I got a big thing of bees that I'm gonna really deck mine out in gold that I'm gonna sew on up here. And if I got these at Walmart for just a few bucks, and that belt I got at a resale shop for like a dollar or something, a dollar fifty. So I'm gonna sew these on real quick, and you decide what kind of decoration you want to put on yours. Okay, I went ahead and finished. I didn't put that big, those big beads on. What I did is I sewed these beads on the end of my crocodile stitches. Um, I just used a regular thread and needle and just sewed them on. You can see it there, how I did that. Really easy. My camera won't focus, but just a regular thread and needle, and then I just added a little bit of decoration. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do to this bag, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you were able to see it okay and everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and check me out on Facebook too where you can post all your crochet items on there. And until next time, have a good day.